Hello Scorpio, welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. I have another reading for you. If this is your first time, I welcome you. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for your continued love and support. Thank you. It is greatly appreciated and I send you love and light and much prosperity and blessings. So we're going to look at, I haven't done this reading in a while, money and career just to see what is up ahead and any guidance, any guidance from the divine. So I have the diviner. Hidden treasures will be re revealed to you. Pay attention to the signs and omens around you. The odds are in your favor. This is a beautiful card to open with. And she does look like a psychic reader, doesn't she? The diviner. So it's like looking ahead into the future. So Spirit is saying hidden treasures will be revealed to you. Pay attention to the signs and the omens around you. Spirit is saying the odds are in your favor. So you may have counted yourself out. Others may have counted you out, but Spirit is saying the odds are in your favor. If God is for you, who can be against you? And then we have the imposter. Hmm. There's always a devil in the midst, in the detail, right? The imposter. Check your circle and be careful what you say. Someone trusted is pretending to be a friend and twisting their persona. Check your circle and be careful what you say. Someone trusted is pretending to be a friend and twisting their persona. So there goes the fake person, the two-faced person. The one who smile in your face, stab you in your back. So spirit is saying, you know, it's like there, the saying goes in the midst of life, there is death. And so in the midst of our life, whatever we're going through, there is always something, someone trying to create an upheaval. But nonetheless, this is just something to always keep in the back of your mind as we go again different level different devils so it's important that we check the people around us make sure check the energies check the energies based on your past check the energies so let's see what else we have spirit Wow, the diviner. That sets hidden treasures will be revealed. So a lot of you, you're going to come upon different ways of how you can make money. Uh, branch out in your career. Spirit is saying pay attention to the signs around you. Spirit is sending you signs. Spirit is saying the odds are all stocked in your favor. The odds are stocked in your favor. And two cards fell out. The one at the top says, the spoiled one. Things will come easy to you now. Take advantage of this auspicious time and make the most of every blessing. So a lot of you, you are being spoiled by spirit. Spirit is going to spoil you. You see how, and again, whether you're masculine, but you know, it's like being a prince or a princess. You're spoiled by the divine. See, you have gone through so much. You have been faithful. This, this to me remind, you know, just reminds me of well done, good and faithful servant. And now you are being spoiled by the divine. Things will come easy to you now take advantage of this auspicious time and make the most of every blessing yeah this is beautiful 
the seer this came out with it the seer you know the truth about your situation believe in your psychic powers and follow your hunches as it leads you forward wow see even with your face covered it's like you can see right through the palm of your hand nothing is hidden from you and spirit is saying now you know the truth about your situation believe in your psychic powers and follow your hunches as it leads you forward so when you get those nudges spirit is guiding you so you know like with the diviner signs and symbols you know spirit is sending us signs and symbols spirit wants us to take hold of those make the most of every blessing you are the seer you are the psychic you are not crazy spirit is saying follow your hunches your intuition don't doubt yourself at the back of the deck is the gambler the known path is safe but the unknown offers great opportunities with some risk the choice is yours are you going to play it safe Scorpio are you going to be a gambler take a chance on yourself spirit is saying the known path the path that you know now it is safe because you can do whatever you're doing now with your eyes closed so for example you know like i said this card she looks like a, a psychic and over here we are seeing the seer your psychic so are you willing to step out of your comfort zone are you willing to not care about what your friends your families think or say of you as spirit is saying follow your hunches as it leads you forward are you going to be the gambler the risk taker but the unknown offers great opportunities you know, it's like, what is behind that curtain? That is the unknown. But Spirit is saying, you're going to be more fulfilled. You're going to come into the abundance. You know, like being the spoiled one. By going the path that's less trod. But the unknown offers great opportunities with some risk. Because you're going to have to go by faith go blinded it doesn't mean that you don't have fear but you're not allowing the fear to overcome you you know who is in control and like spirit is already telling you here follow the the hunches pay attention to the signs and the symbols check the um, the imposters that are around you people who may be giving you false advice because they see something in you that you don't even realize in yourself so spirit is saying be careful you know about the people who are wearing masks because they don't want you to step into your blessing of being the spoiled one and in order for you to get something, you have to give something. You have to do something. You have to take a risk. Every day we go out the door, we're taking a chance. We're taking a risk. Spirit is saying you're a seer. You know the truth. I don't need to beg and plea with you because you already know the truth and because you know the truth then the truth will set you free so your blessings your abundance will be based on 
the decisions that you make. The decisions that you make. Unethical. Spirit is saying unethical behavior can lead to some serious consequences. Someone is stealing or lying to you about money. Don't sacrifice your morals for money. So again, don't bother. Even though Spirit is saying hidden treasures will be rewarded to you. Don't do anything unethical to get to that. Don't, you know, get into any get rich quick scheme. Spirit is saying someone around you could be lying. Again, we have the imposter there. Could be lying or stealing, you know, money from you. Just whatever you're doing, make sure that your conscience is clear. You're not hurting anybody. You're not hurting yourself. Just be ethical. Do the right thing. Spirit is saying ask for help as well. So if you're having financial problems, ask for help. Look at your financial situation from a new perspective. You will have some resources remaining. So whether that means, you know, like see the hand there, like the person is drowning. So ask for help, you know, maybe make a budget, do something, you know, cost of living, I know it's very high, so try to live within your means, okay? Spirituality, you are being guided to discover your own unique spiritual path at this time, wow. You may be called to become a spiritual advisor, healer, or anything in the occult, your finances could use some spell work. Ask your angels and guides for assistance. So again, we see the card, ask for help. Pray about it. Ask God to restore your finance and spirituality. Like I said, she looks like the psychic spirit is saying you are the seer. So for some of you, this is your confirmation that you're guided to discover your own unique spiritual path at this time. You may be called to become a spiritual advisor, healer, a psychic, a tarot reader. Spirituality, it's all over this. You are the seer. You are the seer. Say yes to the things you think you can't do. So anything that you think you can't do, Spirit is saying, say yes to it. So remove the T from can't and say, I can, I can. Remember, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. You can do it. Whatever it is you put your mind to, whatever you put your heart to, you know, don't worry about what others will say. Again, this is your life. This is your future. This is your destiny. You're walking in. You're living in your divine purpose. Gift. Someone might give you a gift, lend you money or help you in some way. You could get cash bonus at work. You have natural talents, gifts and abilities just waiting to be discovered. Explore them. See, I told you, and, and this and another card came right under the imposter. See, these fake people in your life. Spirit is saying, check your circle and be careful what you say. Someone trusted is pretending to be a friend and twisting their persona. So they're changing their mouth, what they say. These people, they see, they know you have a gift, like I said before. And they, are, they want you to downplay yourself. 
talk you out of your purpose. So there are different things here. So someone might be giving you a gift, you know, lend you money or help you out in some way or another. Spirit is saying you could get a cash bonus at work. You know, pretty much keep everything hush. You, if you don't know who to trust around you, then just don't talk any and everything to the people around you. Comfort. Though you're not exactly rich, you will be living comfortably. You're entering the most comfortable period of your life. Your finances are in a state of balance. And this is why, again, if people are envious or jealous of you, they know that if you step out into that career, because you may have been giving these people good advice and so they know you would be an excellent motivator. You can teach, you can reach people on your platforms. You can bless others. They don't want you to get into that because that's going to mean your lifestyle is going to change. You're going to make more money. You're going to live in comfort, have some form of luxury. You're going to surpass them. You're going to advance them. Spirit is saying you are a leader. It's time to step up into the leadership role in your own life. You can expect to succeed in any leadership positions. Your finances will greatly improve once you accept and step into your power. Yeah? So I'm telling you, people around you may be trying to talk you out of this blessing. I'm telling you, don't allow this moment to pass you by. Spirit is saying the odds right now, they are stacked in your favor. Time and chance happen to all of us. The race is not for the swift. The battle is not for the strong, but it's for those who endure to the end. All of us get the same 24 hours in a day. Time and chance. We get a season of opportunity, a moment of breakthrough, and it's for us to hop on to it. Don't allow that moment, this moment, to pass you by. Don't allow anyone, anyone, your pastor, your preacher, your mother, your father, who, whomever, don't allow anyone to, to, to talk you out. If you are in a relationship, pray about it. Like we see the cards ask for help. God will soften, speak to the heart of your spouse or your partner to support you, to come over onto your side. So don't worry about the people who are against you. The ones who are, will really be with you, God will prepare their hearts to stand and to come along with you. Don't allow people to talk you out of your dreams. It's not their dream. It's your dream. Stop asking people's permission before you start to, to do something. Even if people give you advice, at the end of the day, you should be able to make your own decision after you weigh the pros and cons, after you prayed about it. Spirit is saying, follow your hunches. You are the seer, promoter. If, if there is a new idea or project manifesting, know it has great potential for success. Careers in the nightlife industry, events or restaurant industry could be right for you. Use the law of attraction for money. Be the energy you want to attract. Be the energy you want to attract. Use the law of, of attraction for money. You don't chase money. Money, it's an energy. It will run from you. Even if you think you don't have, 
You see somebody else who don't have, you have a dollar to spare. Give it to that person because that shows God, that shows the atmosphere that you're not living, you're not so stingy. You're not in luck. So you live as if you have it. Give as if you have it to give. Because when you get it, you would like to be a blessing to others. So some of you may be considering, you know, a different careers or side hustles. Spirit is saying jobs in the nightlife industry or events, being an event coordinator, you know, a wedding planner. Uh, you can plan baby showers, birthday parties, things like that. The restaurant industry could also be right for you. So being a promoter, this is, this is stepping up yourself. Look at the back of the deck. Luck, luck. Your luck is about to change for the better. You could get a lucky break, some financial breakthrough. Anything you do now will be very, very prosperous for you. Not one very, but two varies. Anything you do now will be very, very prosperous for you. Your luck is about to be changed for the better. So which path are you going to take? The one that is safe, oh, every day I go clock in, nine to five. And it doesn't mean that you have to, to give up that nine to five immediately. What this is saying is just that, you know, maybe... You do something on the side. Do it part-time while you're doing that other career until it take off and then you can fully step out in faith. But don't play it so safe. Don't knock it until you try it, guys. Wow, two cards came out. Become clear and focus. So clear out the noise from your mind and determine what is it that you actually want. In order to obtain certain things in your life, you need to let go of what is holding you back. Write down and meditate on what it is that you exactly want out of your life. Create, a clear, create clear goals and possibly construct a vision board. A book of one verse one says, write the vision, make it plain so that anyone who reads it will run. So what is the vision for your life? Where do you see yourself six months from now, a year from now, five years from now? Without a vision, the people perish. Your prayers are being answered. You have asked the universe. And when I see universe, I see God. So I'm going to say you have asked God or the divine for what you have wanted for a long time. You shall receive it soon. Get ready to fill up all your cups. You're about to win it big. You will be receiving in all areas of your life. Trust in source energy and believe in yourself. What you thought was going to hold you back will be finally released. Gifts from the divine will bring you restoration and love. Gifts. You are the spoiled one. The divine. You prayed. The divine heard you. And this is why the odds are in your favor. Your prayers are being answered. You are now being cleared or you should become clear and focus right now. Wow. This is beautiful. Oh, this deck is, ooh, it's very, it's a big deck. So just a moment. I love it. I love how positive it is, you know, and at the same time we're getting we're getting a lot of helpful advice from spirit how to navigate in this life when you come into your success your blessings again be careful of the imposters be careful of the fake people aircraft technician 
So this may be a career that some of you may want to go into. Some of you are already into that right now. One more card. And with that card at the time this deck was made, the salary was like $67,000 a year. Another career is a talent manager, 63,000 a year. You find work for your clients who are actors, writers, directors, athletes, and other creative professionals. You send actors on auditions, setups, meetings, negotiate contract. So this is another career, talent manager. Spirit is saying your journey takes a detour. What you have learned from the past will lead you to the future. Certain people will exit and enter your life for various periods of time. There are still lessons to be learned. What you see as an obstacle is really a blessing in disguise. Do not resist the changes that are happening. Allow them to flow in and out of your life seamlessly. So again, like Spirit is saying, certain people will come in and leave your life for various reasons, for various periods of time. So again, you're dealing with fake people. You can't take these people on your journey because imagine all they're going to do is just keep you back. They're going to sabotage your dream. Well, look at this again, spiritual advisor. It's all over. It's everywhere. Helps people connect to source energy, God, the universe, to become more aligned and spiritual. Knowledge in various religions and spiritual teachings that help people live a more authentic and positive life. So some of you maybe are you're already spiritual advisors. This is beautiful. Are you thinking about doing this? That's awesome. Ooh. We have therapists. Helps people manage and overcome problems with family and other relationships. You could work in private practice and mental health centers. Most work is full time. So maybe some of you are therapists or you're considering that independent and self-sufficient. You don't need to follow the crowd. You just need to be yourself. If you want to be a leader, you need to walk away from certain groups of people. Wow. Take moments throughout the day for yourself to calm your mind. Sometimes the best ideas appear when all is quiet. If you're too afraid of standing out, then maybe you need to evaluate who you spend your energy with. Don't dim your light for other people. You are meant to be independent and self-sufficient. You're a leader to stand out. You know, you are the seer. Spirit is saying you don't need to follow the crowd. Climb in the ladder. Your hard work and the due diligence is allowing your inner light to shine. You may want to pursue a higher education or take courses to sharpen your skills. Opportunities are opening up for you to obtain for you to obtain your goals. Reach out and take them. If you think one thing isn't working for you, try another or a different route. Don't give up on your dream. You're almost there. It may feel slow, but you're getting close. Slow and steady wins the race one step at a time climbing the ladder your hard work and your due diligence it's gonna pay off and this is why you are you're gonna be the spoiled one and and see people are gonna see the spoilness but they they don't see the hard work that you have put in 
that is now paying off. They see your glory, but they don't know your story. Some of you may consider career in bookkeeping or you're doing that, you know, where you work in offices, produce financial records for organizations and check and checks financial record for accuracy. So, you know, those are just examples of just different careers that persons may be venturing in. Some of you, you're probably in that right now. This is a, a collective reading. So there may be a different people. And again, you could be in bookkeeping, a therapist, a talent manager, and yet still in your on part time, you're a spiritualist. You're a reader. You're a healer. Positivity, faith, and optimism. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. So remember we spoke about, or I spoke about, you know, making the decision, the unknown or the known. Spirit is saying, keep the faith and keep going. Be positive, be optimistic. Don't allow any negative energy, negative people. Again, 